What are the spiritual gifts? These are things we're supposed to have a deep desire for. These are given to you based on who you are, based on who God created you to be. These are gifts given to every single believer by the Holy Spirit. And these gifts give you supernatural abilities, talents, and skills for the building up of the body of Christ. I'm going to begin with gifts of what I call is knowing, gifts of knowing. So you will know things by the spirit you otherwise would not have known. The first gift is the word of wisdom. So what is the word of wisdom? This is the gift of making wise decisions and giving counsel as directed by the Holy Spirit. Remember, you can give good advice, but is it directed by the Holy Spirit? Because sometimes what seems right to a man is not the, the way of God. What seems right is not what God is saying. So you really have to be given wisdom by the Holy Spirit. And if you are someone that has this gift, one of the indicators, not all the time, but one of the indicators is that people are always coming up to you for advice. It's different people, um, not just in your family, but maybe people at, if you're in a school setting or a work setting in your workplace, at your school, they may be coming up to you uh, for advice. And so this is one of the indicators that maybe you're onto something. And advice could be any type of advice. It could be financial advice, relational, government, so high level. It could be anything. But not only are you supposed to be knowledgeable in this area, but it's knowledge that is from the Holy Spirit. It doesn't mean you don't have your part to play. You absolutely have to study your craft. But ultimately, your wisdom, it comes from the Holy Spirit. And we know that in scripture, the most popular person for our wisdom is King Solomon. First Kings 4 verse 29 says, God gave Solomon wisdom and exceedingly great understanding and largeness of heart like the sand on the seashore. And so when God gives you wisdom, you're going to have great understanding as well. And, and we see that Solomon had the wisdom and we know because he has the, he, he did things like with the baby. Who would have really thought about that? Two women fighting over a baby in order to figure out which one is the real mom. You just hold up the baby and say, let's, you know, it sounds so graphic like the real mom said no just give it give it to her because she couldn't bear to see it wow just got emotional over that but i mean that is godly wisdom that's godly wisdom it seems so simple but i mean i would have never thought about that but anyway god gave wisdom to solomon and we see that when god gave solomon the word of wisdom he was able to use that wisdom to build an empire, he became like very rich. He used his wisdom to affect uh, those around him, not just in his own country, but worldwide. People came to see Solomon's greatness and a lot of that had to do with him building from wisdom. And another knowing gift that is closely related to wisdom is the word of knowledge. So if you have this gift, the Holy Spirit gives you the ability to know things you would otherwise not know again by natural means. So some people, he gives the ability to know the times and the seasons we are in. And one of the reasons God allows us or allows one of his servants to have a word of knowledge, especially pertaining to times and seasons, is yes, so we can be on his calendar, but many times what is happening in the natural realm is not at all reflective of what God is saying. And so he he uses his servant to speak, this is where we're at and how to pray from there and how to conduct yourself from there and what to prepare for. And so when you have the word of knowledge, it could be for individuals or it could be for a group of people. What you have to remember is the Holy Spirit is a revealer. That's one of his functions. He is a revealer. So he reveals certain things when he chooses to. 
And if you're a revealer, if you have something super, super important to tell someone, you're not just going to tell any old Joe. You're going to find someone who is mature enough to relay certain information to. And so usually if you operate in this word of knowledge, you are someone that the Lord can trust because you're mature enough in the spirit to have this, uh, to have this gift. And also you have to be humble. The Lord doesn't want to share something with someone who's be, who'll be like, yes, I know this and I, I know this about you. I saw you in the spirit. No, he wants you to be humble. God could tell you something and say, I don't want you to share this. And it could be on your heart for 10 years and you won't even be tempted to share it because God says, I don't want you to share it with anybody now. I want you to wait until I tell you it's time. And so you have to be someone who's mature and trustworthy and with the word of wisdom and the gift of knowledge with many of, with all of these gifts. But, but I mean, really for these knowing gifts, you have to have a, a close relationship with God. You, it, it's based on relationship. If I don't have a close relationship with you, there are certain things I'm not going to tell you. So we see that, um, Daniel, he functioned in this gift, the gift of wisdom. The Bible says that God gave these four men, which is Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and Daniel, the, the Holy Spirit gave them unusual aptitude for understanding every aspect of literature and wisdom. And God gave Daniel the special ability to interpret the meanings of dreams and visions. And so we see here that the gift of knowledge and wisdom, they flow hand in hand because with both of them, the Lord gives you understanding to share with his people. With, with Daniel, he spoke to him through dreams and visions. With other people, it could be phrases he gives you. With other people, he, could, he still does dreams and visions. Um, but he, he tells you as he wants to tell you, but you really have to get quiet for him to tell you that. We see that Moses, Moses, he took himself from the children of Israel and went further up into the mountain, which was pretty scary. And Moses, he had this deep relationship with God. So God was able to reveal many things to him. He wrote the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, because he was intimate with God. He pursued God. He pursued him and, he, and, he, and it was pure pursuit. It wasn't like I'm pursuing God so he can tell me all this, all this stuff so I can just be able to write the five books of the Bible. No, he really loved God that much that he took the time out to pursue him. So we see Moses operating in this gift. Abraham, Noah, Daniel, just when you get close to God, then you're, he's able to share with you the things he'd like for his body to know. So the gift of knowledge is connected with the gift of wisdom. Normally, if you have one, you have the other.